Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm your host, Danny Matranga, and today we're gonna be talking about cannabis, marijuana, pot, weed, whatever you wanna call it, okay? And more than likely, if you clicked on this video in the first place, you probably fall into one of two archetypes. You're either somebody who is a cannabis consumer and you're looking for somebody to qualify that decision for you and let you know that it's okay to consume cannabis and exercise, or maybe you're anti-cannabis or perhaps even interested in trying it, but you don't necessarily know the entirety of the situation as to how to best use it in regards to your fitness or if you even should use it at all. So, you know, the big thing you have to look at first whenever you look at something like cannabis is from a performance standpoint, right? Like in the gym standpoint, it's probably not gonna help you too much. We know that cannabis can actually decrease reaction time, uh, which might not necessarily make you any better in the gym. It can mitigate pain to a degree, right? That's one of the most common utilizations of cannabis is pain management, but that's not necessarily something you want in the gym either. Now, beyond those two things, there aren't a lot of inherently negative implications of consuming cannabis around your workout. So primarily, it's going to come down to preference. Um, you could say it's probably not the best that it decreases reaction time, but if you're weightlifting, that's not necessarily a big deal. And it may help with pain management, which might work for you or against you if you're dealing with something like an injury. Beyond those two points, whether you choose to use it doesn't necessarily have any inherently negative effects. Now, how does it affect your nutrition? Certain strains of cannabis are known for causing what is anecdotally referred to as the munchies, right? It makes you hungry. It will make you want a snack and more than likely you'll probably consume more calories if you're dealing with the munchies than if you're not because of the lowered inhibition effect as well as just the general desire to consume that's associated with smoking pot. Not all pot, but some can again, like I said, cause the munchies. So if you're in a calorie deficit or trying to diet, consuming marijuana may not necessarily help you uh, in that regard. However, if you are looking to gain weight, you could make the argument that it can be a useful tool for increasing and enhancing appetite, which could be quite valuable to some people, especially if you struggle naturally with getting enough calories in. So there's some benefit and some detriment to it. It just really depends on what side of the coin you're on. Now, in terms of general health and overall wellness, there's a lot of things expanding in the CBD space. Uh, the legality of cannabis is unique state to state. So I don't wanna to speak too much as to whether or not it's healthy, but I think in the grand scheme of things, when you consider the various ways in which people go about looking for a buzz, it's certainly healthier for most people in most instances than alcohol consumption. So at the very least, it could represent a better modality by which to go about getting your buzz. But that doesn't make it healthy, doesn't make it legal, it's just a viewpoint for you guys to consider. So for performance, anecdotally, people will say it improves their workout. Some people like it before they run, some people like it before they lift. The studies that we know show that it decreases reaction time and it can help with managing pain response. Consider all of those things when you form whether or not it's something you want to try. Uh, again, entirely up to you for nutrition. Good chance you might get some munchies with cannabis consumption, which might work against you, but if you're trying to gain, it could be very beneficial. And as it pertains to overall health, it might be a little bit better for alcohol for most people. But again, it's not an inherently bad thing. It's just something that's become very normative in the culture right now. It's a very hot topic. Everybody wants to know, can you consume cannabis and still be fit and active? My answer is yes, I'm able to do so, but that is just me. And again, how you decide to implement it is entirely up to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe below it, what your experience with your fitness, health, wellness, and cannabis has been, if it's been positive or negative, no bad comments, everything's on the table. Just tell me how you feel. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.